So what is the Lord saying? It's time for you to fight Goliath. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with another teaching with Sunray. But wait, there has been an interruption to our developing godly character sequence, okay? The Lord has a teaching that he wants to release to someone, okay? And this is actually going to be a very profound word slash teaching and you need to hear this. Okay, so what is the Lord saying? It's time for you to fight Goliath. There are some battles that the Lord will fight for you. And then there are some battles where you can no longer turn a blind eye. Um, you know how they say, out of sight, out of mind? It's some battles that God will allow you to hear something that will cause you to spring into action. And you're not springing into action just because you wanna fight somebody, no. It's something that you're hearing that kind of agitates you. It agitates what you know. It agitates how God has matured you in a certain process. Maybe a few years ago, you would hear that and you'd be like, oh, I'm probably too this. I don't care. But then there's sometimes after you go through a certain process where you hear something and all of a sudden you're like, why, why am I hearing this voice tell me that I'm worthless? I know now that I'm a child of God and I sit in heavenly places. Why is there this voice in my head that's telling me I won't be wealthy? I'll always be poor. But I know that the Lord has given me divine insight to help me create wealth. Who am I talking to today? So when I talk about Goliath, I'm going to go through the story. But then I'm also first going to say this. Goliath, when you fight him, it is not an external battle. Whenever you are uh, walking into destiny, the greatest Goliath you ever fight will always be the internal battle that you have. That's why I mentioned Goliath as that voice that, because at one point you hearing that you were worthless, it did nothing. But now all of a sudden, it's like, yo, you agitated me. So we know in uh, 1 Samuel 17, pretty much Goliath, he would come down every single day. And he did this for 40 days. And he would say like, yeah, y'all ain't going to do nothing. I'm defiling the Israelites and da, 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 which meant he was also defying God. But these people, they didn't have the understanding of God that David did because he reminds you. He did this for 40 days. 40 denotes a time of trials, a time of testing, okay? But upon that 40 days being complete, it's the maturation. And so the 40 days that he did this, them people didn't say nothing. They just kept running away in fear because they didn't have the experience with God and the training to know when they heard something that they couldn't turn a blind eye. They turned their blind eye. Because to them, it was out of sight, out of mind. But you could still hear it. But they had even shut off their hearing because they they heard him defiling their God. But at the same time, they just didn't know what to do about it. But then comes along David on this random day, just doing this. And he's sitting there. He like, yeah, I'm coming to do this. And he overhear it. But what did David say? He said... Um, do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear what's going on here? There's like this person that's saying this, all this stuff about our God. He said, who was this uncircumcised Philistine <laughs> that he should defy the armies of the living God? This was um, 1 Samuel 17 and 26, right? And so they were just saying like, yeah, this is what he he kept doing and da 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 right? But they weren't doing anything about it. And so this is the thing that you have to also know is that when you start to fight the internal battle. For some of you, it's to lose weight. For some of you, it's to change your life 
overall to just be better for yourself, to be better to the people around you. Whatever that internal Goliath is, you got to know not only is it Goliath's voice that you'll have to fight, you're going to have to fight the people that know the old you. The ones that knew you before your 40 days, that knew you before your times of trial. They're like, like his brother. His brother said like, bro, like, why would you come down here? I know you have evil in your heart. Like, I don't even know why you're sitting here talking to people, right? But then you also have to pay attention to not the people that knew the old you, but the people who don't even know the new you just yet and don't know what it is that you truly carry because they might have been in that area. They might have been in that realm and they're like, well, I don't know if you're really ready. And that voice represents Saul. So not not only do you have to fight the voice of Goliath and what he's saying to you with that internal voice is, but you also will have to fight the voice of the people from your past that knew who you were, but also those in your future or those that are right at your door of destiny that will question who you will become. And it requires you to stay rooted and grounded and to know, whoa, I prepare for this. I trained for this. And as we can see with David, he prepared for this. He trained for this. He said, I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears, but I am scared of being taken for a fool. He was like, bro, I'm scared of being taken for a fool because the same God that rescued me from those lions, tigers, and bears is the same God that's going to rescue me here. So today's prophetic word slash teaching with Sunray is saying it's time for you to fight Goliath. You can no longer turn a blind eye because God has matured you. You've gone through your process and now you know who you are. So you have exactly what you need to fight those voices and the Lord is going to show up for you. He, you don't need all the fancy warfare. You don't need all the fancy extravagant prayers because you went through this process. You have the authority. When you have an understanding of God, when you hold an experience with God, the one that will show up for you, you're not worried about all the na na na, what they call it, the rah rah rah. You can shut that down in an instant. So the Lord wanted me to encourage somebody to let them know that it's time for you to fight. No longer turning a blind eye because even when you turn a blind eye, you can't escape what you hear because what you hear goes against what God has produced in you. So now you no longer can be comfortable in the space of hearing that you're worthless, of hearing that you're never going to change because God has placed things in you through your uh period of trials and testing and persecution that has made it uncomfortable for you to even hear that because you know the truth once you know the truth you can't turn away from it and that's what a lot of you guys are experiencing right now and so i pray that this prophetic word slash teaching blesses you make sure that y'all are sharing the teaching with sun rays with a few other people and i'll talk to y'all later all right all right all right you're gonna learn today